and welcome to the Elite Dangerous live stream. I am your host, Edward Lewis, part of the community management team here at Frontier Developments. Thank you so much for coming this evening to spend some time with me and my very, very special guest. My very, very, very special guest, who is so special, he has caused me to forget to put on my microphone clip. But it's all right, I found it. I've secured it and throwing it around. It's a wild evening. It's a wild evening. We're off to a great start. There you go. Good <laughs> evening, everybody. <laughs> My name is Dav, and I'm a server developer on the Elite Project. Hey, there you go. You See? And I'll, int I'll introduce you in a That's moment. That's okay. You've, you had work to do. I'll introduce you. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we'll get there. Yeah. We'll get there. How is it going? Are oh, you all right? Thanks so much for coming along. This is the first time we, we had our FX, we had Frontier Expo. We did. Oh, my goodness, was that a day. And you, you, you visited, of course. I was, I, I was very lucky to get to go along and meet many people. Who did you meet and chat with when you were there? Did you, um, did you have I, any stories to tell from coming back? If I start trying to name drop the amazing people that I got to speak to, I will forget some even more amazing people, and therefore would do them a disservice. Do them a, uh, but there were lots of people. So, for example, uh, where we just had like so many of our community members there, yes. and we talked about it a little bit after. Um, uh, after the expo, me and Adam came on stream and did a little uh, the recap, the recap stream. Or oh, no, it wasn't really a recap; it was just well, more. We just chatted about it and went, "Oh, cool, yeah. I'm glad that's over." <laughs> it was a lot of planning. It was very it, good. Yeah, I, I think the amount of work that goes into an event like that is very easy to underestimate. It was a really big job. Certainly, it was. And we had a good time. I made some obviously some exciting announcements about Beyond uh, the Run series of updates, which obviously we can't wait to go into more details with you guys about. And that's kind of what I want to start things off yeah. actually about. And I might even take this off just to just to do this opening bit where we talk. This is that's the most pretty no it gets serious. It's all right. Don't rip uh, your microphone off. That's where we, people know. First of all, the first major thing I want to talk about is this jumper. Yes, this is a bear on a bike. Um, with your argument is invalid. And there is uh, a fox in the basket, and the fox does indeed have a pipe. Oh, Just in case yeah. you were wondering about that, that is indeed the case. Um, but yeah, where is the forward button? <laughs> Uh, do you mean forward towards the Beyond series of updates? I hope rather than Absolutely. through this live stream. Yes, I, I think plenty of excitement um, going forward. But we will we will go into into <laughs> that's a cool. Thank you, Matt. Uh, how much for the lab coat? That's going to be low. How much for it? Mm -hmm. Oh, this this is beyond price. Okay. Also, you don't want this lab coat. It's beyond been used. priceless. So I guess like the way you're bringing beyond into that as it well. It was the least I could try. Um, so uh, I just wanted to say that yes, tonight is a bit of a uh, well. We're just going to be playing on Xbox One. Mm -hmm. uh, we've got a little bit of a plan. Dav's, Dav's hatched a nice little plan just to show off some of the new uh, stuff that's come with 2.4. Absolutely. Uh, of course, I can turn down the music just a little, just a tad, to make sure our volume, our, our voices are nice and clear. Yep. Yeah. Um, uh, thank you for the, for the. Um, the, the feedback yeah. there, it's you know, yeah, it takes time to adjust these things. You know, it's uh, good music. We need to we need to celebrate the it. artists. We just wanted to, yeah, yeah. So uh, yes, of course, there's stuff coming in in future. Uh, but yeah, the, the new stuff in two before. Well, I say new stuff. It's the it's the the CGs that we're involved in. But we were going to go and look for some uh, to rescue some. Absolutely. Uh, yes. Anyway, uh, we'll get to that in, in just a moment. Um, but we have all stream yet. It's been, it's been, uh, hey, <laughs> turn the music up. Ah! No. <laughs> right, wait, 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 wait. Ding, 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 ding. That's the plan, that's a different, that's a different, that's a different thing. Um, so, yeah, I've got some plans. Right, okay, I, I've, let me, let me get to my point, Dav, you're too talkative. Basically tonight, I'm gonna play some stuff uh, on the Xbox One. Come and join us if you work out where we are, it's quite simple, uh, and then Dav, uh, we'll be answering questions from the chat. So fill the question, the chat with questions. Not right now, in a minute, when we've got through this next bit. The first thing I want to talk about, after that first thing that I talked about, th thanks Dad for being silent, you're being a very good boy, uh, is uh, the Xbox One X. Of course, a lot of people have been asking questions, and this is an Xbox One. We are playing on Xbox One stream tonight. Uh, all I can confirm is that there will be a confirmation, and there will be um, a, uh, a post about it and some communication about it. But just what we confirmed previously, what David has said previously, which is that we will be supporting Xbox One X and that will include full 4K support. Uh, and apparently it is one of the uh, very, one of the few that actually, a uh, few games that actually support it in full. Which oh, is, wow. Uh, which is 
pretty it's awesome. Uh, there will be lots of options and there'll be uh, different things in there that, uh, that I uh, couldn't tell you off the top of my head and probably shouldn't tell you until we've got the exact details. So I will be giving you, uh, we'll be putting up a post live um, on the forums and then telling about it on social media as well. So you probably won't miss it when we have the full details about Xbox One X. Um, what else do I have to talk about? Live stream series. Yes. Live stream. So here's an announcement about a live stream series that are starting up, and actually it begins next week with, uh, if you weren't able to get to Frontier Expo, there was something that was a bit of a fan favorite moment uh, at, the, at the show, and that was Anthony Ross's talk about the Stellar Forge. So Ant Ross will be here this time next week on this live stream talking uh, all about the Stellar Forge, and it was, uh, people loved it. Uh, people really loved his talk, so he's going to be coming and doing the same talk here again. Um, I will be sitting here being silent, I promise, uh, while, while Ant talks. I'll just be controlling the images or yeah. anything that he needs to bring up on screen. Um, then uh, we'll be following that up with some other, uh, in, the, in the coming weeks, it's going to be, well, for, <laughs> Well, this is. I'm just just dance, sort of live stream. dance live streams. Now, we then have uh, the week after, um, we're going to be doing a live stream with Sandro Samarco, which is a bit of a feedback live stream where Sandy's going to be talking. Uh, well, again, I don't want to say too, I don't want to confirm too much about that because it will become clear why Sandro is doing a live stream next week uh, or, or the week after next. Yes. Uh, uh, soon. Uh, soon. You'll, Very you'll soon. start to understand why, but the idea is that we do want to communicate with you guys more about how the game is being made uh, and what is going into the Beyond series of updates. So that's all yeah. I'll say about that. But that, so basically, and, and I'll write this down, I'll put it in a forum post that we're going to have like a week of a sort of deep, d a deep dive dev live stream with somebody, and I'll, I'll tell you who they're going to be in advance, so you can choose whether you t uh, tune in or, or save it for later. Uh, and then there will be a feedback live stream talking about some of the stuff that's being discussed in the forums, and then we'll go back to another deep dive, yep. and then Sandy again, and then maybe even now and again, like once every three weeks, I'll throw in an educating edge, so then we're showcasing off some of the community groups too. Yes. That said, what you've got to remember around this time is that it is coming up to Christmas. And actually, we have our 24-hour live stream yeah. as well. So we're coming around to the 24-hour live stream, which we are going to be doing again this year. We're currently in planning stages of that. That will be in December. Um, so please, you've got to support us with that as well. But that kind of might get in the way a little bit of the schedule, mm -hmm. which means that it will continue into next year as well. So lots of live stream stuff. Um, so many ideas, uh, so little time. And, and lots of ideas that, to, to make it. Um, to, to, to be communicative with you and I think uh, open up those communication lines a little bit more which we, we always want to do always. Um, just got, we just got to find the right way to, to make sure that's possible so uh, there you go that's the things that we'll be doing just that that was uh, quite a lot yeah yeah it is and of course there's <laughs> lots more that we do behind the scenes in terms of uh, planning for the future and things like that mm. but anyway I'm not describing my job to you I'm just telling you what we're going to be streaming in the next few weeks yeah. but it all kicks off with the def definite one which is uh, Anthony Ross, Ross. Dr. Anthony Ross talking about the Stellar Forge. Um, and then the one after that is also being planned currently as well. But I, want, we, I don't want to announce it uh, because it has to be... Con we'll we'll we have get the to, details to you just as soon as we're, we're able to right. talk about it. I know it. that, Dav, you've said that you may want to do, do one at some point as well in well, the future. I, I, if people can think of enough interesting things for me to talk oh, about. come on, Dav. Talk, talk, talk talking's, interesting things. talking's fine. Talking is your um, strong point. Oh, dear. Is it not? I'm supposed to be yeah. programming occasionally. Yeah. yeah. Uh, on, on my Twitter earlier, I was like, yeah, I mean, Dav are going to be on tonight. And it's going to be uh, Dav doing what he does best on a live stream. And I was like, no, hold on. <laughs> no, no. He, well, he, get the teacup. I can he, drink tea on a live stream. Yeah, he's, that's it. That's it. Yeah. yeah. The next, yeah, anyway, thank you, Bob. Thank you, guys, and thank you for coming. Yes. So now this is where we sort of open up the floor to Dav, really. And that's why I want, I want the reason why I wanted to say all those things is because today is. Uh, um, much more of a, a, a casual let's play, yeah. and then I'll give you the schedule of live streams as soon as possible. Just just so you get in your, your money's worth. And by money's worth, I mean these free live streams that we run. <laughs> <laughs> um, all right. You know, it's an opportunity. But today, it's, yeah, it's, let's it's just always good to engage with with the community, and these are just one way we get to do that. Yeah, definitely. Let's let's play some video games. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so, Dav, where have you taken me this evening? So at the moment. Um, the uh, the Galaxy intern uh, has has borrowed a uh, borrowed an Imperial courier. Might have borrowed my Imperial courier. I'm sure he won't scratch it too badly. 
and it's Can't already quite a popular place to be. Uh, this, we assure you, this wasn't a setup. There just happened to be some players here in Xbox on op in open on Xbox, uh, looking at a uh, at a, a alien crash site, Ooh. which uh, is 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 kind of new and kind of exciting and kind of a little bit different. And um, I personally really like what our artist has been able to do. That yeah. I know it's a little bit that's out of character, but I think it looks brilliant. Let's have a look. The pressure is on ahead. Oh, the backwards. pressure's always on ahead. Oh, no, fl fl flying a ship on the live stream. That's, uh, that's, <laughs> that, that's tri yeah. triple tough right there. I mean, I'm not particularly good anyway. Yeah. Um, all right, so yes, we're on Xbox One, yes. and we are in this particular system. If you do want to come along and say hi and join us, uh, then you are absolutely um, uh, more than welcome. Yep. We are, of course, in HIP 17125. Yep, which is slightly different to what Angry uh, Os Osatilavi said. No, we're HIP 17125 for the moment. So uh, I'm afraid we didn't bring uh, enough oh. team biscuits for everybody. Oh, no. Oh, dear. I've got... I've got I, I've Oh, no, you sh you're showing off my paint job. It's there a bit, it's a bit battered. That little curry has been around, been around a bit. Have I've actually literally borrowed your, <laughs> your courier, haven't I? A little bit. Which it's okay. Amazing. We've got more. Okay. So uh, one question that I saw trundling past in the, uh, in the in the chat from a moment or two ago was from Commander Macross Black, who asked what the maximum number of supported commanders was in an, in, a, in an instance in Elite. Uh, at the moment, I think I'm right in saying we set the maximum supported to 16. Uh, people can use the wing mechanics to exceed that at their own risk. So that's not supported, <laughs> and, your, supported. and your experience it's may a, vary. A, an interesting uh, way of putting it. Absolutely. Was supported. I mean, obviously, there's, there's nothing more exciting than seeing many commanders all hyperspacing out for some of the expedition takeoffs, but uh, we, we can't always guarantee that everybody will have a smooth experience uh, in, at such times. I'm oh, sorry, I've just been distracted by Jack Frost 200. Yeah. Commander Jack Frost 200, probably who is running away back to his very shiny looking anaconda. We'd better he's not dent it. probably not aware that he's on a live stream right no. now. Hi, Jack Frost. Hello. Have a nice time. He's Bye. now going to wonder who this uh, other yeah. SRV person is. Following him. Uh, it's Shanky. on all formats, Commander Lee Griffin. It's uh, across platform. So lots of questions coming in for Dav, and please do yeah. put your questions in the chat because this is an opportunity to talk to Dav. Um, yeah. But remember, Dav has taken his time yeah. uh, this evening to his own personal time to come on and talk to you guys. Okay, so any new tables or charts for us this time? The current state of the background simulation hamster. So first of all, is we don't talk about the background simulation hamster, wow. and um, the the biggest reason that I haven't brought any new tables or fancy charts or even dare I say it, some numbers, uh, is numbers. because they haven't actually changed in the last release. And there's so much new content in, in, uh, in 2.4, the return, that we're really excited about. We thought we'd, we'd, we'd talk about that a little bit this evening. Obviously, if there's, um, uh, if there's some interest in, in, in recapping what we've maybe talked about in the past, then we can look at that. If only there was a live, a live, a live, live stream, stream series starting up. Coming up soon. That I certainly have to get some live stream assets created for. <laughs> but that's going to be tomorrow. Absolutely. Job. So look at this. Yeah, it's nice, isn't it? That's a little bit worn around the edges. Maybe it's a different shape than what we've seen before. I always forget that. Um, yeah. That's why, isn't it? Uh, that one. That's what I'm looking for. <coughs> Uh, the type what now, Commander Jurema? Uh, the types only go up to nine, surely. <laughs> Thargoid combat zones. Uh, that's not my area, I'm afraid I can't. I, I, it's not something I would know about. Oh, wow. Look at that. So shiny. It's very shiny. It's Quite literally shiny, in fact. I think that makes me feel uncomfortable. The, um, yeah, the, okay. the texture <laughs> makes me feel uh, pockmarks. Mm. Yeah. That uh, looks, looks almost organic in nature. There you go. But it's a nice job, isn't it? Yeah. They've, done, they've done a really, really good job with all of the Thargoid stuff. Yep. Uh, of course, we do know this to be a Thargoid scout. Yes. Yeah, that, that, that isn't spoilers. No, and it's clearly crashed down. Yep, it's, it clearly didn't have a good time for the pilots. There's a bit of it there. Yep. Just yeah, that bit should be, yeah, well, should should be up, probably up there. Be there should yeah, we, we should have bought some space glue. I do like this as well, this part of it that's yeah. just sort of... It's just kind of been a little bit bent when it, uh, when it touched down. We just so happened to be in a nice location in the ship's or in this uh, planet's. Uh, actually, orbit. wasn't played for and got, but that is quite a nice. It's view. good, isn't it? That's that's looking good. Yeah. So somebody originally asked me what one of my favourite things in Elite was. Uh, finding moments such as this completely accidentally, 
Um, I actually get in trouble when I play it at home when I say, oh my goodness, look at this, and just kind of stop and look at the pretty. Uh, the, se the sense of wonder still hasn't, oh, hasn't diminished. Well, that's more of an air. Oh, don't, don't, don't look up there. That's not a pretty sight. No. These are cool as well. Mm. <coughs> so really I've not actually had a, a close look up at this myself. Indeed. So, um, Commander Andy Jones, has anybody found a breadcrumb that linked to the ship? I don't know the answer to that. Many of our locations of, oh. of, of, of cool content in the game do have listening posts pointing to them. Mm -hmm. uh, some of them uh, have number stations. Mm -hmm. uh, so there are there are clues to be found rather than simply happening to know that this one spot on the planet exists. Also, it's worth noting that a few people have been saying that we feed information to players in certain groups. We absolutely do never <laughs> we never do that. Uh, hello. Oh goodness, that's an asp in front of a thing right there. Uh, wait, 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 wait. There you go. Yeah. That's 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 more there like we go. It. That, that's that's a bit more uh, a bit more compliant with <laughs> yeah. uh, with tradition. Well, it's in front of my ship now. Yeah, I feel no, like I feel like this asp may be doing. That's not a clue. Yes. Yeah. Oh, no, sorry, I'm in there. That's, uh, sorry. that's Salome's dance. That ship. Oh, that's oh a nice wow. Ship name. Oh, the Salome. Oh, that was yes, that was pretty special. Yes, very good. Uh, we never do that. No. And also, um, why would we want to? Yes, absolutely. Uh, it's so it's more fun and to to. Make sure that the the galaxy tells its own tale as best we can. Yeah. Speaking of which, so today there's a new set of community goals went out. Yes. Um, and one of them uses one of the new um, uh, station services that uh, was added right. in 2.4, the search yeah. and rescue contact, um, which put my is. Put handbrake on. I don't um, know how to do that. Hold on. I have no idea how you put the handbrake on. I've put it on. Okay. I'm trying to take it off. <laughs> Don't overheat it. Yeah, uh, um, so where is it? <laughs> where is the handbrake? <laughs> guys, Xbox uh, One guys. Uh, I don't know where, where is the controls handbrake? are. I don't play on. I'd like to have a cargo scoop. Uh, no, it's not that. And it's, is it not B? I don't know. <laughs> shoot, the, shoot the Thargoid thing. We should, we should be able to do this. Press no! no! I'm in the turret. Don't do that. Press B. I did. That's jumping. It's jumping for me. Uh, Everyone's there, saying press B. Is there a context? Menu and a there usually is, but it's giving me the the, the boosting. Yeah. Well, we we're supposed to be trying to fly back to the ship. Um. Oh, I know what. Uh, what? What is happening? Hmm. X. It's X, not B. Uh, is it? That's <laughs> F. We don't have an F. This is an Xbox right, controller. Okay, hold on. This yeah. is Let's look it up in the options. Let's have a look at the controls. the controls. I am so sorry, everyone. That's me being very inept to the Xbox One. That's what happens. Yeah. Um, and this is where you look through for a while going, right, where is it? Yeah. Um, oh, gosh, driving. Uh, the inner base is, I'm pretty certain. I mean, this is something that we should perhaps be asking. Handbrake yeah. is A. Okay. <laughs> Everyone's like, press B. It's close enough. Press B. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> Even yes. um, uh, er, 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 yeah. Everyone was just like. Indeed. Press oh all the buttons. Gosh. Everyone was like, B. It's yeah. definitely B. Well, we did say this was going to be a relaxed let's play. It's, so I here don't we have a turn of the options anymore. menu. I now feel. Uh, B is default. Okay, uh, okay. Well, that's why. That so, um, anyway, so I thought <laughs> it would be quite. Noob. <laughs> so, another Ed's one. Scan the data point. Yeah. Yeah. So. Another one of the things I like uh, doing when I play the game at home is flying around uh, the uh, signal sources when I'm just in super cruise going from uh, mission to mission, from station to planet, and seeing if there are any uh, wrecked ships that, uh, that perhaps need my commander's help. And today's community goal for search and rescue really does celebrate that, that mechanic and that, and that gameplay element. But mm. um, it's just a little bit unfortunate that the reason that that's necessary out in the Pleiades is because of the increased tensions. Mm. Uh, with so much more interest in, uh, in maybe perhaps taking the Thargoids on in combat has maybe not ended, yeah. ended very well for many ships. So um, there are those, there's a, com there's a community goal for, for combat and there's a community goal for perhaps search and rescue flights to go and clear up the mess afterwards, uh, which I'm quite excited by today. Nice. Uh, the, the data point is below the surface. Oh, well, that it? might be a little hard. To, uh, you can't Thanks. go and land in that, in that commander's pass. No, I'm just trying to... Yeah. Um, it's below here, right? Can you target it in the context uh, panel, maybe? Yeah, I need to. Mm. Below surface? Uh, <laughs> I don't know where it is, actually. Uh, for those of you who are asking questions that we're not answering, it's 
simply because we can't. Uh, it's either something we don't know the answer to, it's not something we're ready to talk about today. Um, so please That's don't take day. offence, we, we can only talk about so much. Fly over in the SRV and then scan. We only have one live stream, but that does sound like a fun game to play. <laughs> At the front. Yeah. Sorry, guys. Never move. I've never actually been here before myself. It's a, it's a fun place. Well, then again, there are many fun places in the game. Well, that's it. I mean, there's, there's only yeah. so much. Uh, OK, thanks. Yeah. Uh, in the ground, in the front. <coughs> All right. Gelnet Audio. That was something we announced at Frontier Expo. And there was yeah. a little sound clip that we played. And I thought yeah. it sounded amazing. And I can't wait to be able to talk yeah, about that. I'm going to give up on this in a second. Because yeah, okay. if, if uh, it's yeah. deep underground, it's deep underground, it's bugged. I'm afraid I used my excavator up last Thursday. I haven't got much left to go digging holes in planets now. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I will uh, yeah. make sure that people know that. Last you can target the fire. Yes, I'm going to side before I'm going to the toilet. Right. Well, yeah, okay. that's not something that I'm going to do. And Thanks very much for setting me up to do that as well. Yes. I really appreciate that. Is this one of those? Uh, what I would actually rather appreciate is some, yeah, it's one of those like, hey, Ed, why don't you do that? And yeah. then I can't do it. And then yeah. it makes me look like an idiot. And it's really good <laughs> when people do that. And uh, it makes me feel really inclined to do more of these live streams. Yes. <laughs> I mean, there are some amazing things. I mean, some of the, uh, the ground races that some of the buckyball teams yeah. get up to, I am the piloting and driving skills shown there is, mm. is above anything I could aspire to. I mean, look, to. they can do some absolutely... I, I know AB Supreme, I, I, I'm, I yes. know, but maybe, maybe people aren't really just trying to watch this. Yeah. It's just, <laughs> that's kind of how I feel. Uh, yeah, it's about 500 metres underground. It sounds like it is actually broken. Uh, well, I huh? will make sure we're aware of that. Apparently it has been bugged, but... Uh, I'll write it down just in yeah. case. Yeah, anyway. Interesting. Oh, I no, look, I, I, I completely believe that you're telling the truth. Um, sorry, I just assumed that people were uh, um, trying to make us, ju trying to make, 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 make us jump and dance. Yeah. As fun as that would be. Yeah, all right, where are we going to, Dav? Uh, What's next? I need to take the landing gear off. I've had, well, yeah, of course, but I need yeah. to. So that is B. It does. Hold B and press down. Yeah, well, there we go then. QA haven't responded for months for some issues. Okay. No, I, I think QA responds as quickly as they, they possibly really can. They really do. And they do an amazing job. It's just all about prioritization. Yeah, it, it does. I, I, I work fairly yeah. closely with the QA forums team, and yeah. I, I couldn't do what they do yeah. and the amount they get yeah. through. We really, Ooh, we, many people are trying to have a Vassal Victoria song, or are we? Um, we could go and visit. you want to do first? We could visit the Victoria song on the way past, if you wanted to, or given that we we don't have a huge live stream, we could head straight out to um, You've the, got somewhere written down, haven't you? Yeah, so the Pleiades sector, um, uh, I, I did write this one down, I'm afraid. Um, IRW D1-55. Uh, anyway, so the um, the Oracle starport in the Pleiades is hosting a couple of community goals at the moment, and one okay. of them is search and rescue one, so I thought we could fly out there and see what's There's going search on. Search and rescue stuff. Yeah, if nothing else, because do. community goals is often where players congregate in open play, kind and of. we're all about celebrating open play. Yeah, OK. Do you want to do some? Oh, with lots of players around there. Yeah, that's immediately making me nervous. Yeah. So that's where I'm like, nope, nope. I'm out. Yeah, I'm out. Away. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. yeah. Okay. So if we uh, we can maybe plot a course to that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there. There you go. Should hopefully not take too long. Nope. Two, Two jumps. jumps. Oh dear, but I shouldn't. I should have refueled the ship first. Why is it? Is it too long? Well, thirty-seven lightnings and two jumps. I, I would be happy with that in my uh, my little yeah, Cobra. No, no. I'm pretty pleased. I don't, I don't have that kind of jump range. No. Um, uh, I, yeah, the cockpit's so I, lovely. That's, that's the biggest reason that I fly in the Imperial Courier, because you can, the cockpit, you can see yeah. so much of space. Mm. I mean, don't get me wrong, the, the game's, the ship's cockpits are amazing, and I'm ever in awe at our artists who create them. Um, it's this uh, is so much uh, an unsung craft. Not the default controls, and that's why okay. I was AB, because it really isn't, which is strange. Yeah. I don't know I who mean, has set my controls to different things. Who have you lent your Xbox to? I don't know. It's my, it's my account almost. Yeah. Interdiction failure there Already, from the well, commander. We'd better jump out of here then. Yeah, but I don't know who that was that did an interdiction and it failed. Uh, as long as they didn't, it's all good. Yeah, that's it. Hmm. I'm having a blast learning about BGS stuff. Thank you, Dav. Okay. Keep going. Keep going, Dav. Yeah, absolutely. Ask any more questions, please. You've got you've got a Dav here. Hello. And a Dav likes to talk about the background simulation and. I'd, I'd like to talk. Within reason, you like to talk. So if anybody yes. does want to to ask Dav any questions, please, please do. 
it is it is now now is the time <laughs> so uh, oh, there's another there's another commander in space mm. in space oh, I even left a fuel scoop on it thank you very much Are there going to be any tools coming out to help us with the background thing? So one of the things that we often try to work on when the faction simulation um, gives us time to do so is to make sure that the game has enough tools for players to work with. Mm -hmm. um, it's a tricky balance because uh, the key word in the background simulation for us is at least background. It needs to be where the, the galaxy responds and reacts to players' actions, but in a way that kind of really treasures everybody's actions, not just a small subset of players' actions. So exposing a lot of the data behind the scenes would be an awful lot of data that would be very difficult to visualise mm. within the, the in-game user interfaces. So it is something we're working on, it always comes up every week, uh, but there's nothing to announce just now about any, any immediate changes. Mm. But who knows what will come up in, in, in the beyond. Series of updates. Yes. I think we did already confirm on... Um, well, with as part of the talks, we yes. said that there's going to be more tools that were to, to make yes. um, that that sort of thing. So uh, trade, for example, trade is, just one, is of them. one of the things that we we mentioned at Frontier Expo uh, is, is a system yeah. that we're trying to do more Ooh, for. Beckett class and science vessel. So where am I going? Uh, for that's this? Actually, we could go and have a look at the Beckett class science vessel. That sounds quite close to the same. Wait, 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 wait. It is, but also let's get to a let's get, let's land somewhere first before, yes, before okay. things go. Horribly wrong. Yeah, okay. Uh, at the station. There's a couple of stations there. Uh, so, yeah. Oh, come on. Come on. There, there we go. go. Yeah, okay. Yeah, so I don't think I've actually seen a Beckett class science vessel well, that's good before now. So, we can have a look I'll at that maybe in there. a few minutes' time after we've, we've docked at the Oracle. That's Just in I'm case we fly a bit too close to the sun, you understand. <laughs> yeah. So, there are obviously, there's lots of questions about um, the, the Type 10. The Type what people now? People asking about the Type 10. Uh, I don't think we've said um, anything about it. As I've said, Previously, um, the 2.4 2 is a, an ongoing narrative and there's lots more going on. And I think at the F at FX we showed, uh, we a, showed a, a, vi of... a video uh, and some uh, a number of things, like yes. you say, that uh, caused some surprise. I, th I think it's fair to say we've, we, we've enjoyed watching people's reactions to, mm -hmm. to everything that we were able to showcase at, and celebrate at Frontier Expo. And it's definitely worth noting that uh, 2.4 The Return has only been out a small number of weeks. Mm -hmm. We're not done yet. No, <laughs> Indeed, no. There's some very exciting things to not talk about just now. Mm -hmm. There we go. Is there a reason why player factions are able to expand into permit locked systems? I thought that was not supposed to happen and is prohibiting getting permits now. So that was a. So that's first of all from Commander Malik. So hello, Commander Malik. I love the googly eyes on the back of your Oculus. <laughs> Hi, Malik, by the way. I saw Malik at um, TwitchCon. We were nice. We oh, for oh, dinner we, together. In, in West Coast or East Coast uh, or something. We were at... Somewhere in the United uh, States, uh, anyway. Uh, yes, Long Beach, California. Oh, and goodness. We, a few weeks ago, it was very nice to meet Malik. Malik came and watched the um, stream we did about space games as well. We did a, a, a panel about space games. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, it was really good to meet you in, meet you in, in person. Yeah. Excellent. Uh, I have no idea what I was talking about just then, so thank you uh, for. What, yeah. What, what, what uh, uh, so, so it's, and and again, very mm -hmm. in inverted commas. GRMF five four three is very exciting. What will it come out? We wait because now it's just annoying. Uh, so stuff like the, um, I think people can agree that the, uh, the, um, the Thargoid um, battles story. And the story yeah. is is exciting yes. and it is engaging and yes. taking part in those battles against the Thargoids. Yes. Uh, some people have told me is the some of the most fun that they've had in a <laughs> video game while teaming up with their friends against the Thargoids. Yep. Um, I understand that, but the idea is that it's it's being it's going to come out uh, in the coming weeks with mm -hmm. the narrative, and that's been the idea from the start. And we told you that was going to be the idea. Yep. The absolutely. So please do have some patience with that. Uh, we're excited about what's what's to come. Oh yeah, I said absolutely. So uh, the. Uh, so anyway, so the, the question was about um, factions expanding through permits. So originally, when the uh, the faction simulation was per first put in, factions could expand through a permit. Then it was one of the most one of the more recent major updates. I'm afraid I cannot remember which one, whether it's 2.4 or 2.3. Uh, we fixed that so that factions could not um, choose a permitted system to expand into. Yes. Um, 
I, would, I think it's fair to say that recently there's been some emergent um, gameplay around yes. that particular feature. Yes, yes there has. Uh, again, nothing Indeed. really to talk about just now, but it has come up in conversation <laughs> this week, and we have got some ideas. Good. Uh, but nothing in any, in any detail to announce just now, but mm -hmm. we think it's kind of cool. Excellent stuff. Um, so yeah, that was that was a fairly recent rule change, and obviously that would stop new expansions, but we couldn't very well take away a, a faction's presence from a place that already expanded to that, that really wouldn't be fair. We, we try really hard to avoid intervening in the galaxy state like that. Old Duck is comparing these Xbox graphics to PS4 graphics. I do think that they're very similar. <coughs> Will NPC crew permadeath be removed? I don't think we've announced anything to do with NPC crews at the moment, so uh, thank you for the commander. Thank, thank you for the question, Commander Supreme Commander. But it, uh, it is a reasonable question. I c uh, for those people who are asking me about star types, I'm afraid I cannot answer that. It's something I know nothing, nothing at all about. Um, about plans for certain galactic stars and bodies. Mm. There's so much. Uh, astronomy and chemistry involved in that, let alone the render technology involved, I, I wouldn't know where to begin, I'm afraid. Are there any biscuit rare goods? Uh, scary I think we ate them, no, although no, having a, an extra packet of bourbon, maybe. Look. Bourbon? Yeah. That sounds like the drink more than bourbon creams. Yep. Hey, I've got a, I've got <laughs> a, 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 a single barrel Jim Beam, maybe? I've got a suggestion, though. Yes, Sorry, I was panicking. Um, this ship is so nippy, yeah, even sorry. with the landing gear deployed, it is too scarily fast. I, uh, I'm used to my nice, easy things to, to, to uh, fly. Yeah, like the, galaxy uh, the, the Galaxy Rebooter has been overclocked a little bit. Has it really? Have you done some naughty things? No, no, thing? I just visited, to an vis visited an engineer. So th so uh, th so something else we mentioned was coming up in the, in the Beyond Caesar updates. Yes, we, we did celebrate that at Frontier. We Expo. did, of course, that all engineer roles will be meaningful. The, they will always the be a positive thing, positive which we're effect. super excited about, because um, we love we love engineering the level of customizability it gives for, for people's ships above and beyond just a normal loadout. Mm -hmm. And like I said uh, at the start of the stream, if you are just tuning in, hello and welcome. Uh, tonight I've got Dav uh, on with me. Dav is Dav can answer your questions about the background simulation yep. and some of the server side things. Yeah, can, questions uh, about data as well. And, and, and you and can politely refuse to answer questions about other things. Absolutely. Um, I mean, I can impolitely answer. Uh, uh, no, uh, I, would, no. I would request polite. Okay. Uh, uh, you can politely ask about those sorts of things, but really uh, what I want to talk about uh, is, um, and I'm just going to be playing, playing the game while Dav chats with you, basically. Yep. It's a hard life. Um, <laughs> But yeah, so, so I want to tell you, uh, remind you again that next week we're going to be starting a new series of live streams that goes and deep dives into the creation of Elite Dangerous, essentially. So we're going to be talking to Ant Ross, Dr. Ant Ross, next week about the Stellar Forge and how uh, how it was how made it, and yeah. how it works. That's and some it's amazing really fascinating work stuff. in there. Following that, we are going to be doing some feedback live streams with Sandro Samarco, but I will have more details on that and why we're doing those exactly <laughs> in the coming weeks. You'll understand that yep. it, it, as in the next few days. Exciting but stuff coming there soon. Is. There's some there's some good stuff going on. Um, uh, did you guys fix the auto dock when it makes you wait forever? I think we I think that was, I would have to consult with the, I would have to consult with the mistress of the minions when it comes to the auto dock. Uh, no, I think it was it was basically doing a thing where it was uh, yes, no, we did. We definitely did, we? did. It was okay. in the um, I remember it being in the uh, patch notes. Okay. It was just not it would quite stop just but it not quite touch it. Oh, okay. it just wouldn't quite touch it. So like a bounding box volume or something. Yeah. yeah okay. It's like the thrusters would just stop or something. Yep. I can't even remember why that even happened. Uh, okay, so there's a couple of really good game. questions just come up. So Robert Maynard, first of all, asked about the background sim tick happening more often than once a day. At the moment, we've got no plans for that. Um, bringing it forward so that it runs more quickly would just mean that there were, there were fewer commander actions to count within it, and it wouldn't necessarily um, add any new Dyna dynamism, that wasn't a good word to choose. Dynamism. Yeah, Dynam that's dynamism. Yes, it dynamism. Yes, whatever it would dynamism. do, it wouldn't do that to the galaxy. Sure, something like that. Um, and somebody else asked about what's the process of adding player uh, PMFs? I'm going to assume that's a player sponsored faction in the game. Mm -hmm. uh, because we need to make sure that new factions that go into uh, the Elite Universe galaxy mm -hmm. have a consistent starting point and that they. We, there are a number of uh, rules that we have to apply to say that, um, so that they don't cause conflicts with uh, anything that's existing in the game, like another player faction or 
um, maybe the, the star system has already got too many factions in it and therefore it can't accommodate another one mm -hmm. and other things like that so um, there is a process um, we were looking at it this very afternoon we are we are trying our best to get um, caught up to date with with player factions because we think they're they're quite an exciting thing to be able to support um, and uh, and yeah uh, so it is definitely under active consideration what tea do I like well at the moment I'm drinking Yorkshire tea like tea the used tea to be for me uh, but I, I, I love a fine Lapsang Souchong. It's gone cold. Uh, it has gone cold. Um, mm -hmm. I love white tea, actually. Snow, s snowy buds. It's, uh, it's a really elegant, fine, fine wine of a tea. If, if, some might even say it's a single malt of teas. I could talk about tea for a long time, but what we should be really talking about is the rescue operation in the yeah. 380s. <laughs> That's right. So what am I doing? What so, am I doing, Dan? Talk me through what, what I have to do right absolutely. now. Absolutely. So uh, one of the community goals hosted by the Oracle is uh, Search and Rescue. Um, uh, community goal, which is to celebrate that with every battle there are consequences and there are a number of uh, casualties at war. Maybe pick, maybe some some commanders are floating in space and there are escape pods just just needing rescue, and this oh, is a way of, of of celebrating that. So if we were to fly out and look around some okay. Uh, uh, signal sources, signal perhaps we might find some, or oh, nice, perhaps there are some battle sites nearby that might have mm. um, some people that, that, that are in need of rescue. And Should I go to the science vessel? Uh, th this is so speedy. I, <laughs> I, I believe there are a number of, in this star system, there are a number of battle sites, Ooh. some that um, have been in the game for some time, maybe some that are perhaps a little bit newer. In this, in this in very system? very star system. I've got distress calls. Yeah, so the distress call um, is, I think, a capital ship that perhaps didn't do as well as it had hoped. Will we find anything that we need there? I don't know, because I didn't do enough homework. <laughs> That's OK. Yeah. Uh, I, I tend to use signal sources, but there are, there's a few. There's a, few, there's a tanker, there's a couple of bulk carriers. OK, should we go to the bulk carrier? Yeah, we could do. Um, cargo ship? Yeah, let's go and visit there and see, what, wow. see, see what's nearby there and then see if anybody needs rescuing. How come I'm not using the custom art, uh, the custom character that the artist made for me? Uh, I think I am. Uh, not on this intern account. This was a. This had a. The hollow me here had a full face helmet. Oh. Uh, Whoops. Not on this account. No. It says Dav. All right. Let's find out how to do this now. Okay. This 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 machine is insane. This this ship is insane. It's a useful tool. L l let's 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 have a look at the top speed of the ship. Whoa! <laughs> not that much. No, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> um, oh, I was warned. All right, are you ready? I was like, where is it? Okay, are you ready? Let's have a look at the top speed of the ship. Yeah. With a boost. Fast enough. 700 and nearly um, and 730. It's close enough. Okay, thanks, Dav. You know, when you just need to get from A to B, or especially when you're in this area of space. Well, I can get away. What did I say, Ed? Yes. Yeah. Uh, yes. Death by asset loading. That was... Uh, <laughs> well, it is a video game was, after all. Absolutely, that was uh, gameplay. So actually, one of the questions was, what are we doing about uh, loading times um, when we oh. enter and exit Super Cruise? So... Um, we had escape pods, here we go. Yeah, o o occupied, occupied escape pods. Yeah, go, go, go and rescue those poor commanders. Absolutely, yeah. let's go straight for them. Oh, I press on button. That's not the uh, button we're looking for. We're looking for... Cargo, cargo scoop up. Um, okay, okay, so Let's over go. the last two weeks, um, oh. there were a couple of server updates uh, from our missions and our networking uh, programmers to are. that are looking at how the servers communicate with the game clients to try and make sure we maintain reliability but still get as much uh, information out as we can. Um, that was mainly to make sure that mission board times were both fast and reliable, so you may have noticed us tuning that parameter a little bit went first one way, then the other, then we stopped somewhere in the middle that gave most people a really good experience. But that work will also have improved people's loading times. Oh dear. No, no. No, 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 no. They're healing. It's, it's healing me. Oh, is it? No. No. Uh, uh, it was, for a second. Yeah. Yeah, they're healing beads. I'm not convinced. No, it's healing me. No, no, no. Oh, more power to shields. No, it's definitely healing. It's definitely healing me. For those they're people, that's a lot. That's a lot of ships getting right in the way. If you want to, whose side are you on? There's, there's, there's like a commander to, floating in space. If you'd like to please help me get this commander. Yes. Um, no, <laughs> no, get him out of the way. Look, we're all friends here. Look, we're all friends. Think about the poor You're pilots' in my way. federation. Someone help me. 
Uh, if you want to help, you'll be strongly rewarded. He's gone. He's that guy disappeared. Yeah, there'll be some karma. The, the gold? Gold? No, we don't want gold. Gold's gold's worthless. Okay. It's just it's just All a right. highly conducted. I'm going to keep doing my job like yeah. a good boy. So what else can we go for? Occupied space. Occupied escape pods. Let's get another one. Escape pods. Yeah. Pods. I'm convinced that I'm going to be okay. <laughs> I mean, this uh, just goes to show what uh, what it's like yeah, yeah. Um, being no, a search just, and rescue pilot in, in any yeah, conflict yeah, zone. Yeah, I'm just, I'm uh, as so much in the game as these the, thrusters are incredible. Though. Yeah, my, like it's, it slows down super quickly too. Yeah, I'm determined to get one out of here. And then, and then this is just we've gone away. This is it. Yeah, no, no, no. Those, the, right. the, the shields can you take this. much more, Captain? We've got this. This is it. We're they're in. good. They're not that good. Yeah, got it. I'm out. Go, go, go. Cargo scoop up and boost. Bye. Goodbye. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Let's, 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 let's return. To, See ya. Let's return to the oracle. Right. Okay. Yeah. And then to the oracle. To the oracle. To the oracle. Okay. Then we can get. Now that we've uh, we've scoops, um, we've we've rescued. Oh, it's a shame That's we had to leave some amazing. people behind. I when I, I eat everybody because everyone was having too busy having a crazy town yeah. time. Yeah. I mean when 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 I when I'm. Um, flying search and rescue on my command, I'll make sure that nobody's left behind because that's just not fair to see. If, if I was in that escape pod, I would I would want to be rescued. Mm. Well, I'm going to go for another run. Yeah. Not there yet. <laughs> not there yet. I this by the way. Yeah. I am going to be doing a lot of work on my personal account before I stream next, <laughs> and I'm going to be getting one of these bad boys. Oh, it's, this is this is amazing. That was amazing. I was just like, see a boom. <laughs> <laughs> that's. This is this is a certain amount of how I play on my uh, on my personal account. I, I fly on a Cobra, and the biggest reason is its speed and agility. Uh, if uh, if an NPC pirate uh, wants what I'm carrying, I can genuinely leave yeah. them behind. Mostly because I'm no good at combat. Uh, Ray Ray's asking about Ray my bug. A... Yeah, I di I did. Uh, I'm still not feeling yeah. great. I've just just sort of uh, pushing on through, really. Um, just a little bit of a standard. Bug, yeah, know. which I'm sure. Uh, well, actually, not standard at all. It's a mixture of conflues because yes. I've been to sort of every convention in the last six months. How many continents? A uh, few. Oh gosh. Yeah, quite. I mean, actually, probably only two. Uh, but yeah, actually, only two. Sadly, only two though. No, mm, yeah. it does go around. So um, no, but I mean, somebody was asking about the Gnosis's jump range. Oh, do you know anything about that? I I think we've said that its jump range is no more than 500 light years per jump, but you'd right. have to consult with the uh, uh, with Cannon's um, mm. officers for that. Uh, okay, all right. Absolutely. So, okay, so we've we've docked back at the Oracle. So we now go and consult the search and rescue contact under contact. And I'm just too happy because yeah. I'm smiling. Search and rescue. Did we actually get the occupied escape pod? Yeah. Where's it gone? Let's have a look in our cargo bay. I'm fairly certain it said cargo e acquired. Everyone saw that happen, right? Okay. Right, we're going back. We're going back. Okay. We're going back. No man left behind. We're going no back. Woman. They just went. They just decided. Yeah. They got in there. They went. Nah, no. I'm out. Uh, I'm, I'm out. Should, should we have repaired? Perhaps somebody's blown a hole in the cargo hatch. That would be so such a tragic situation. No, yes, I'm I rescued. Why am I floating oh in space no! again? Yeah. Yeah, everyone saw the cargo. Yeah. We had it for sure. I'm um, boosting out. Yeah. We need to make sure ah! that <laughs> <laughs> I was actually like, ah. that involved. Um, um, all right. Yeah, so just have a quick look at our list of modules and make sure the cargo bay hatch yeah, is actually so powered. We'll do that. We, we, we just in case I these. I didn't give you yeah, a it is, yes, no problem. cargo hatch. Yeah. yeah. Well, there we go. Oh, hold on. It was ranked two, though. So maybe mm. maybe switch one of those multi cannons to be. Uh, no. I'm yeah, leave that one. That's not gonna. That'll do. That's fine. That's all we need. Now let's go back and try again. Do you need a guard? We always need a guard. Yes, Commander Adonis. Yes. I don't know if <laughs> I can if he's local or not. Yeah. Uh, we'll leave, um, <coughs> so stick with me. There you go, and then we'll be fine. Do I need a card? I don't know. Yeah. yeah. Second priority, that did it. Yeah. <laughs> Absolutely. Oh, what am I doing? We're going through. I don't want to yeah. go at all. Uh, we want to go. 
I thought, yeah, I just thought it's yeah. a line up with Target. I was like, I'm just going to Super yeah. Cruise. Like, why, why are you? Yeah. Right. <laughs> what, are we doing? what are we doing in this net? What are we doing? We're going to go back to the same place? Well, we could go back to a different place. Well, yeah. we could. Or we like, could try again. Well, I just feel the like. Other, I mean, I think it's the closest mega ship to the community. Yeah. It would be nice to rescue somebody. Yeah, it would be. But for those Fabulous. people flying around in this star system, there are some. There are plenty of opportunities for search and rescue, let's put it that way, if you explore some of the other planets. You don't have to just yeah. hang around near the Oracle. <laughs> it's just amazing. The, the power of live streams is incredible. If you want something to go wrong, it's the, it's, do it on a live stream. It's the curse of the live demonstration. It's, it's unbelievable. It, it's one of the very right, first things. Right, let's try that again. Or do you want to just, no, because no, we'll, get, we'll get pulled out of um, yeah, Super Cruise. Super Cruise if we don't. Just yeah. go straight somewhere. Speaking of which. These thrusters there. Thanks, yeah. Dave. Look at you. Uh, it doesn't help that much in Super Cruise, no, I'm afraid. <laughs> Power play bubble maps used to show hardware encroachment. Yeah, that would be uh, that would be quite cool, wouldn't it? I'm afraid. Uh, afraid that's uh, that's one idea that uh, we, we can't really uh, announce at the moment. I'm making a funny face because I'm trying. All right, fine. But it's not going to not going to do anything anyway against me. Let's be honest. Um, no. You're not going to be able to see me. <laughs> I might need to throttle up a little bit. Uh, oh, sorry, yeah. This. <laughs> <laughs> Goodbye! Uh, Alright. I'm just going to go back into Super Cruise because yeah. they're never going to. Was it uh, Commander Easy Known as most Love recent? your game! Thanks! Yeah. Thank Fisto! Yes. We, we live it too. Yeah. Yeah. 7.50. Yeah. Nearly hitting 7.50. Yeah. Well, we need to. Space uh, legs or death. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, thanks, mate. Oh, well, uh, you, you could try and kill us now if you wish. Well, it wouldn't be a very um, exciting live stream just to watch us uh, running away. I mean, no, I'm trying to... I, I, look, I want to get back to the... Perhaps I should have planet. renamed the ship the Roadrunner. There you go, back in. So, uh, any other questions from the, from the chat room whilst... Uh, I feel like I want to boost past the guy. Well, let's just... Let's go rescue somebody. He's disappeared off the scanners. Rescue, rescue. I want to rescue. I'm trying. I'm trying to rescue. I, I can't fly on the controller, so you're doing a better job. I like control. I like flying on the controller. Mm. Yeah. Does a named permit not acquirable through rank ups mean the permit is currently available to acquire through other in-game means, or is it still something in development? So there are a number of systems that are not uh, reachable within the game. Some of them are covered by uh, an individual system permit, and some of them are region permits. Mm. Some of the system permits are available through... Can I just drop uh, out here now, like this? Uh, oh, I can't. Um, so maybe I will, though. Only this some of the, the permits are available. about what's going to happen right now. I don't actually know what's going to happen right now. Uh, can we spoil we anything about later in 2.4? Well, we, if we did, then why would we... No. We're nice. excited about what's to come in 2.4, but nothing to talk about just now other than we can't wait to get it into your hands. It's it, okay, so we've had we've had the discussions about this mm -hmm. on on street uh, on uh, hey hey hey. No. Um I don't know how to change from <laughs> Where is the T10? It's a good question. <laughs> it's a good question. Right everybody, we're yep. going to have a party at the Banner Class bulk cargo ship, okay? Yes. Now, what I want to do is I want us all to have a nice time and go there and if you're watching, we're going to we're going to take some nice screenshots together of us all working together and not killing each other. <laughs> all right? We're going to line up in front of the ship and we're going to take a screenshot and save it to the uh, Xbox One uh, sharing service. So, and then maybe I'll even share it. Yep. on Twitter from the official account, yes. saying, look at how much fun we're having all together when nobody tries to kill each other. But I can only do that <laughs> yep. if you don't kill me when we get there. William Bowlin asks, do the weekly community goals, partici participation or pacing, have any correlation to events? I'm going to go with very yes. Yes. Very much community <gasps> goals have consequences in the game. Knock it, honestly. Yeah. Come on, guys. Let's do this screenshot. Yeah. Let's not get content. Yeah. <laughs> Whoa, there's a lot of people here, and I'm moving that's, very quickly. That's a lot of people being rescued. Oh, hello. Oh, dear. What are you, what are you doing here? What? Wow. Oh, my goodness. Uh, look, don't get involved. No, I'm, They're I'm, bigger I'm, than I'm, we are. I don't want to watch. I mean, I am two of them here. in awe at the... Um, at the 
Uh, oh, Thargoid Interceptor. It's okay, I'll have a point defense. Fuel rat standing by, it's okay everyone, there's a fuel right here. That didn't work. Oh well. gosh! I'm off! <laughs> I'm here again! <laughs> yeah, that was the commander. <laughs> Thanks guys. Uh, so, honestly, we had one... We had one job. Save us, Ed. <laughs> the Imperial Kuru is, is a brilliant vessel, but it's not going to stand up to a fully no. engineered big vessel. That's just not its function. Have you got any shields on this thing? Not anymore, not they've just been blown up. I just stood there, to be fair. Yeah. Scarper Ed, I don't want to spend my entire life running away! No, we want to go and look at the shiny. Uh, Alright, let's have a look. Yeah. Where field neutralizer has is, is been... Well... No, I, don't, I don't think a field neutralizer would have helped us there. I'm going in. Dav, I'm trusting in humans right now. No, I was trusting in humans! I'm trusting in people, I'm trusting in you at home watching. <laughs> And trusting you all, I'm going to stop, right? Yeah. I'm stopping. I'm 28%. Yep. Before anyone else hits me. And this is it. Yep. Yeah. And don't right. forget, this is not notoriety. Yeah. This is this is this is spoiling it for everybody. Ask some more questions. Yes. To Dav, you've got Dav for five more minutes. Yeah. And no, that's it. You don't have you don't nope. have them anymore. Sorry, our ship's been blown so up. You've, you've lost. Remlocks down. You've lost that. Uh, <laughs> yep. You've lost. You've lost that privilege. Right, if you can't behave, that's why you can't have nice things. I'm taking Dav, I'm taking Dav away from you. That's what's happening. Yeah. No, I'm not joking. Okay, so people are asking about the community goal consequences. Yes. So um, some of the, the biggest consequences that people mm. have seen is um, where uh, um, our human players, our commanders, have been helping some of the engineers engineer some uh, technology, some weapons, some defences to help uh, combat the, uh, the Thargoid threat. And uh, players have helped out with some of these community goals, and the community goals text has said what the cons consequences will be, and and we have definitely made sure that that's what they will be. Um, so we are we have been as clear as we can get. But uh, if players didn't engage with that, then the consequences mm. of consequences will be far different to what to what story actually played out within the galaxy. That's interesting stuff. Any more questions? Because we do have to go for a few more minutes now as well. Um, while you wait for a couple of questions, do make sure you yep. grab one. Um, do jump in when, when, when you find one. Yep. Uh, I want to remind people again that next week we are going to be having Dr. Anthony Ross on yep. to talk all about the Stellar Forge, <laughs> how it was made, how it works, it's all going to go over my head, but I'm going to sit in here and make sure that all the right assets come up on screen for you. Yeah, we should probably uh, get rid of the about them. Oh, no, it's not there. They can't see it. Okay. Um, uh, and uh, after that, we then yeah. got some feedback streams with Sandy mm -hmm. Samarco as well, and we'll be bringing back Educate Ed in the near future. But for the next couple of weeks, uh, that's kind of the streaming schedule as well, leading up to our 24 hour stream. And those deep dives are going to continue into next year as well. The deep dives are a new, uh, a new license series. It's probably not going to be called that. I'll think of something more interesting to call it for yep. when we go live with it next week. <laughs> um, but we'll be talking in the newsletter as well. So this yep. time next week, 7 pm GMT, mm -hmm. you'll be able to watch it on demand afterwards as well, youtube.com forward slash elite dangerous. The on demand video, uh, you'll be able to just uh, skip through it and, um, and learn all about what the Stellar Forge is. The Stellar Forge is basically um, how we built a galaxy. How we built the galaxy. Uh, and and and, and I'll all be going into details about how all that yep. works. So, any two more questions? From two Dav more questions. Before okay. We leave so, uh, Commander, uh, I think Peter Borgman. I'm afraid mm. that the question is scrolled off. Has asked about: Do we uh, do we develop on the life? Do we um, help develop the life servers? Do we uh, do we hot fix changes out? Oh, there we go. Is it possible that server code is being changed or bugs are being fixed on the running life server? Mm. The answer is. Uh, very much yes. That's mm. one of the advantages to Elite being a, an online game mm -hmm. is that we are able to, to make changes. Most of the time we do it without downtime. Um, like uh, uh, last week there were some major changes we did to the mission board load, loading times and for the most part we were able to do that without rebooting the live game. Mm. There was one last Friday afternoon when we simply ran out a week and so there had to be a, a slightly intrusive update. But by and large um, we are able to make tuning changes, we're able to make bug fixes, maybe tweak and tune how the uh, the galaxy servers perform uh, and so yes obviously we try to work on major new things but if something maybe isn't going entirely to plan or some people are not having a good experience maybe a bug has been found that affects a number of players we will undo um, hot fix fixes out to the live servers excellent stuff very good. Um, somebody else has asked by Xbox One X, Paul Price. Uh, I, I've just confirmed at the start um, that we are going to be supporting Xbox One X, but I can't really say any more information about that than that right now, other than what we've already confirmed, and that is that it will have 4K support, <laughs> uh, which is pretty cool. Yes. 
Mm. Uh, we'll have some more information about the Xbox One X very soon. It's exciting times. Mm -hmm. uh, mm, oh, it's interesting. Uh, oh, beard oil, don't use any. Uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> Mark Simpson says, give us the Type 10 or Red Dizer again and again and again and again. Well, see, that's the, the thing. We're not going to give it to you no. until... Give, sorry, give what to them? <laughs> no, I don't know what I'm talking I don't know. This magical thing that they're talking about. I'm, I'm, this is a joke. Uh, until you stop killing me, huh? ah. There we go. Ah, when you can do one week. <laughs> no, I can't promise that at all, can I? I can't promise that. That would be crazy of me. No. Uh, tell us one tweeny weeny secret thing before you go. Um, uh, gosh, I don't know. No. Um, one simple thing before we go. The royal family are actually lizards. Um... I don't know if I believe that myself, personally. No, I'm not so sure about that. Yeah. Uh, Commander... Saturday live stream is confirmed. Yes. I'm just giving yeah. you the deet, the deet, the deets on <laughs> it are, are, are sketchy currently. Yeah. <laughs> Indeed. Well, yeah. Commander JSB mentions as he's never played on 4K before, is there a noticeable difference between 1080p and 4K if you have a 4K monitor? I... A 4K monitor or a screen, yeah, it does yeah. look absolutely incredible. It looks super, super sharp. Yeah. Yeah. It's beautiful. Yeah. That's it, guys. We're never going to have it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no. A, a, a background yeah. sim secret. Uh, let's see. Background sim secret. Every player action is put into a category, and certain mm. faction states only, pay, only respond to certain categories. That includes missions. That's interesting. Yeah. Uh, that genuinely is a lovely little BGS secret. Yep. There you go. So, yeah. I hope you enjoyed that. Yep. So, um, uh, so uh, thank you so much, everybody. Uh, I, again, I, I have no no details about the HDR or, or any. There is. All right, here's a little secret. We're putting together a post about it right now at the moment about all the details <laughs> with what is going into the update that that works with Xbox One X. So just just <laughs> just be patient with that. Um, but it will be in the next couple of days that, that <laughs> that's out to you. Um, really, really appreciate everybody coming along today. One last time, uh, a huge thank you to Dav for Any coming time. on. And uh, and again, the, these streams where we just keep it casual and just <laughs> chat with you, I actually really enjoy them Yes. Uh, because they're just laid back and we just get to yeah. play the game with you guys, uh, even if you are just you do just shoot at me and kill me. Yes. No! Um, but it, it is fun. It is. And I like play it, so we'll, we'll do more, more of these in future. Um, but the next 20, 10, 15, 20 weeks will be focused around these sort of cool yep. um, deep dives and uh, feedback streams and yeah. maybe bring back the Educating Ed series as well. Yeah, absolutely. So, uh, we're going to have, a, have, a, have some good times over the next There's few weeks. Plenty of fun stuff to be done. Plenty of fun stuff with 2.4 as well. Uh, and of course, uh, the Beyond series of updates as well. Yes. Beginning in 2018, that's not far that's away. That's really not that far away. It's all very exciting. Yeah, it is. It is. Can't indeed. wait to be able to talk about it. Mm. And uh, as Commander Nutter says, the stream prize is. No, it's not. Like, I can't really repeat that. It'll be bad. All right. Thank you, everybody. And thank you again once more, Dav. And thank, uh, honestly, I, I really appreciate this. Was that, yeah. was that like a little. It was a little bubble head. Oh. Is that so you can do the. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Bye. <laughs> See you soon. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye. <laughs>